evaluation system that ties teacher and principal progress to student test scores. And the results, for the most part, are being called favorable. 11 News Education reporter Tim Tootin joins us live here in the studio with that story. Tim. Well, Dallas State School officials will be the first to tell you this is a starting point. In fact, an in depth sampling from school systems across the state. So you make sure that you are on your best behavior today. The state collected classroom and test score data from 22 local school systems, then compared notes. The report involved more than 43,000 Maryland teachers and 1,100 principals. It's just the rating for the first time. Um, it's an attempt to try and uh, recognize teachers for the first time who are highly effective in the work that they do with uh, students. 97.2 percent of teachers were ranked effective or highly effective. 2.8 percent were labeled ineffective. The numbers were about the same for Maryland principals. 97.5 percent were considered effective or highly effective. 2.5 percent ineffective. I think this is a, re a report that's a celebration of an incredible amount of work and conversations between teachers and principals that show us that we have the vast majority of our kids being taught by great teachers and really great principals. The state's teachers union agrees but says more needs to be done to raise the bar for all educators. Overall, we think we have great teachers, we have a great school system. There's always room for improvement, and this data will help us take that one snapshot look to see what we can do and where those resources are needed. State school officials say this new report is a blueprint of sorts for local districts to make improvements in their own evaluation systems. As you know, in this high-performing state, they will want to be highly effective. So we, it is our responsibility to work with them, give them feedback, individual learning opportunities to grow so that our students grow along with them. Growth the state hopes will show up first in the classroom and then in student test scores. Now you can take a look at this new state report on teacher and principal evaluations. We have it on our website. Go to WBALTV.com and you'll find it under Education Alert.